Man, welcome back into another video with your guy. We have a new release from the house of Latafa, and we're talking Latafa Asad Zinnabar, guys. Latafa Asad Zinnabar. All right. Stay tuned. It's the fragrance show. with another man another one man peace to everybody in the fragrance community shouts out to everybody that checks out the fragrance show on a weekly basis man the goal for this channel this year is to hit 15k subscribers and with the help of you guys we will reach that goal so salute to everybody man for sure so Latafa has a new release and it's called Asad Zinnabar now I like the first Latafa Asad that was a take on um that was a take on Dior Savage Elixir. Real nice clone. Um, you know, real nice clone for the price point. You can't beat it for sure. Now, this is in a bar. Same kind of bottle design, except this one is, I will call this color, mm, I would guess around the royal blue, like a royal blue. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, same kind of bottle design. Now, I did pick my bottle up off of eBay. I'm going to link that seller down in the description. I did pay roughly around $47 for this guy. I have seen prices like $55 and stuff like that. I really didn't want to go over $50. Uh, I had a budget for this fragrance, and to get it for $47, I was like, cool. It's also the box for you guys for full presentation. And once again, the bottle. So let's get into some notes about this one. I'm gonna spray it, tell you how it smells, get y'all my thoughts on it. All right, spray it, guys. Let's see what we got going on here. Atomizer is good. I did test this out on my skin. Okay, right off the bat, when I first spray it, it is a little spicy. I'm picking up on a note of lavender and some spice and I'm getting like a coconut vibe. Right off the bat, I'm getting like definitely coconut and like some lavender to start this fragrance out. But just, how does it smell? Does it smell good? Definitely smells good. Definitely totally different from the Asai, their first release like a coconut lavender-esque kind of vibe. But let's take a look at the note breakdown for sure. Now, this is a this is cool because um, this is actually on Fragrantica. Uh, to start out, black pepper and lavender. In the mid, you have coconut water, iris, and salt. Salt as a note, wow. You have vanilla and you have incense. I describe this fragrance or how the note breakdown on this fragrance is actually on par of what you're going to smell now i'm not the biggest black pepper fan so i'm happy it's not totally like extra spicy coming from that black pepper or has some kind of kick it really is smooth it's not a harsh coconut like some suntan lotion kind of vibes i'm not getting that from this i do like the vanilla I'm glad that the vanilla comes in. You don't have to wait all week, even though vanilla is a base note. You don't have to wait till this fragrance has totally reached, you know, the dry down stage to enjoy it. The vanilla actually starts to come in very nicely. Now, it has a note of salt. Uh, I'm not really sure what to pick up from a note of salt. I have never seen that in a fragrance. But just the nuance around this fragrance, man, you're getting a nice, fresh, like I said, coconut vibes, vanilla vibes, incense slightly a little bit. I don't get nothing that will be leaning this fragrance like being dark or smoky or nothing like that. But I mean, it's it's good. I mean, for $47, I could see this price probably gonna drop quick and you could probably get it like roughly around what? I think a side right now maybe be hovering between 25 and 30 bucks, maybe even cheaper. I think this fragrance will come down to that eventually. It is just a new release. So, you know, new releases get a lot of hype behind them. But I can see this being a good 
fragrance for spring and summer. But performance. To me, performance is good to start out. Will it get better after the maceration process? Who knows? But just starting out, man, you're going to get a nice window around. You're going to get more than an orange lift of fragrance um, within that first, I would say, hour to hour and a half. On my skin, I got roughly between the six, six and a half hour mark, and it was good. For the scent profile, for the price, for it to be a, now I don't know what it's cloning. Some people say they're getting some, uh, Lamar, what is it? Le Bleu? That, the uh, the Scott, kind of like that blue bottle from, uh, God, Jean Paul Gaultier. I do have a bottle of that. Le Bleu. Some people say Le Bleu. This could be like a Le Bleu, a Le Bleu clone, or it's a reminder of that. I can see that a little bit. I have the LeBeau EDT though. I don't have the Oda Parfume Concentration. So if they compare it to the LeBeau uh, EDP, I have not smelled that. But EDT, I can see some similarities. So not bad, man. Not bad from Latafa. I think it's another solid release uh, from that house. Oh um, man, I think it's going to be good for spring and summer. That was my take on Asad's Zinnabar. New release from Latafa. Totally different from Latafa Asad. Two different ends of the spectrum for sure. Like I said, I got mine for $47. Gonna link that down in the description for y'all. Uh, if you're looking to add something for the upcoming, but we're in spring now, definitely for spring, summertime. If you can get it cheaper than $47, I say go ahead and check it out. Coconut in this done real nice. The, all the notes are done real nice in this one. I'm just not getting that salt vibe uh, for sure. But it's good. I'm glad I have it in the collection. And, you know, happy to share my thoughts on it with you guys. All right. So, thanks for watching another video with The Fragrance Show. If you need more content, click on that video right up above. If you want to like and subscribe to the channel, you can go ahead and do that as well. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Salute.